time. How many know the blood still work? Hey man, our choir did a beautiful selection. That's the time. Doesn't seem none other than our pastor. Our very own Bishop elect, Reverend Dr. Sherman James Butler. Let's receive him by saying amen as he comes. Come on, praise the name of the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you the glory. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Father, we thank you. Come on, praise him right there. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you today. God, we thank you today for your goodness and your mercy. Father, we love you for all that you have done. God, we bind the enemy. Satan, the Lord, God, rebuke you. Satan, the Lord, God, rebuke you. Satan, the Lord, God, rebuke you. Oh, yeah, you know that. Say the Lord God with you, yes. Find them in the name of Jesus. Your blood prevails. Your blood prevails. Oh God, oh God, meet us here today. Meet us here today. Meet us here today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bind every spirit and every power that desires to come against your people right now. God, send healing, send deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your blood. Thank you for your son dying on the cross, shedding his blood for us. God, we love you and we praise you. Come on, give the Lord your praise. Come on, give him your best praise. Ah, come on, give him your best praise. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Come on, praise the Lord for Jesus. Come on, thank him for Jesus today. Thank the Lord for Jesus. Hallelujah. We're grateful unto the Lord. Is everybody happy in this place today? Is everybody happy? Come on, give the Lord some praise right there where you are. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh. I am grateful unto the Lord. Thank God for each and every one of you who came to be with us in the house of the Lord. 
And those of you who was not able to join us, but you are viewing us right now, give the Lord some praise for them as well. Thank God for you. Thank God for you, our Elder Bland, Mother Bland. Thank God we thought we was going to see y'all today, but we see you in the spirit. God bless you. Thank you for being with us on today. And all of you all over the country, those of you all over the world, we just want to praise God for you as well, as well being in the house of the Lord with us on today. Come on, give the Lord praise. Did we enjoy our choir on today? Come on, that's when you bless me, Lord. That's when you bless me. Amen, amen. I am grateful unto the Lord. Thank God for my beautiful wife, Rhonda. Thank God for all of the saints of the friends, the most high, all of the ministers, evangelists, teachers, and preachers. Thank God for our junior assistant pastor, junior assistant. Thank God for you, man, a beautiful job on this morning. And we're grateful unto the Lord. I do praise God for goodness and his mercy. How many somebody say, for your goodness, for your goodness, mm, and your mercy toward us. Somebody help me say, for your goodness and your mercy toward us. For with that one more time. Watch this. Somebody help me. And 
I'd like to give a soft praise to the Lord. Oh Lord, we bless your name. And oh, come on, just lift your voice. We live out. Oh, to say thank you. Just worship the Lord and your mercy and your mercy for you for, for your goodness and your mercy toward us we Come on, praise him right there. Come on, praise him right there. For no other reason, Lord, but for your goodness. For no other reason but for your mercy. God, we're not trying to do anything but give you praise. Lord, I want to give you praise. Somebody say, Lord, I want to give you praise. Lord, I want to give you praise. No matter what's going on in my life, no matter what's happening right now, but Lord, I want to give you praise. Come on, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him. You could be gone, you could be in your grave. But somebody say, oh Lord, I give you praise. Woo! For your goodness and your mercy. Woo! Come on, bless the Lord right there. Come on, I don't know if you feel what I'm feeling right now, but somebody just bless the Lord where you are. Woo! If it wasn't for his goodness and his mercy toward us. Come on, somebody, praise him. Mm -hmm, your goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Water. We offer, we offer praise. Woo. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, praise them. Come on, praise them. Come on, bless them right there. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Come on, bless them, bless them. Grateful unto the Lord today. When you think about Jesus, come on, somebody ought to get a smile on their face. And just wave and say hallelujah. Woo! Ba 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 sound that. No, 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 yes. Woo! Ah, ma, 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 ma. Glory, glory, glory. Glory. Don't start nothing, Alvin. Don't start nothing. Mama, 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 mama. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Come on, let the Lord bless your soul. Let him bless you. Let him bless you. Come on, let him bless you. Come on, let him bless you. Come on, let him bless you.
bless the name of the Lord today. Come on, God has been good to you. And come on, if you can't do nothing but bless them, somebody say for your goodness and your mercy. For your goodness and your mercy. For your goodness and your mercy. Hallelujah. We're grateful unto the Lord for his goodness. When I think of the goodness of the land, all that he done for me. My, my, my soul. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Come on, let them bless them. Let them bless them. Let them bless them. Let them bless you. Let them bless you. Let them bless you. It ain't nothing wrong with praising them. Is that right? Ain't nothing wrong with giving God all that you have. <laughs> Woo! After all you've been through sometimes, what you're going through even right now, Somebody say, I know how to give God my praise. I know how to bless him. I know how to lift him up. He's worthy of all of the praises. He's worthy of all of the blessings. Woo! Hallelujah. Truly, my heart is glad today. Thank God for the ongoing part of the service. We do give God the glory and the honor. If you have your Bibles, God bless you today. Amen. Come on, bless his name. I know sometimes when we get into the house of the Lord, we just want to give him all that we have. But don't wait till the battle is over. Come on, somebody. Because the battle is just beginning. But God's going to bless you through the battle. How many know God's going to give you the victory through your battles? He's going to give you the victory through your troubles and your trials. Because he said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Oh, see, yeah, begging for bread. My, my, my. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, I want to go to the book of John, St. John. The book of St. John 19. St. John 19. Amen. The book of St. John 19, and if you begin reading, we want to read at the 29th verse. Let's begin at the 29th. After, 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. 29 said, now there was a set vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and put it in his mouth. And Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, and he, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. I am grateful unto the Lord. How many grateful unto the Lord for uh, the words of Jesus Christ? Somebody said, somebody said, in John, in John said, it is finished, and he gave up the ghost. And I was thinking about all of the work that he had accomplished. The Bible said all of the things that he had accomplished and all the works that he had done and everything that he was doing and how he was healing the sick and raising the dead, and giving sight to the blind, feeding 5,000. Come on, somebody. One time, not only one, but twice. Come on, somebody. And thinking about all of the things that he had done. But then John didn't record something that Luke had recorded. Luke over in 23 and 39 and through 43. Luke 23, 39, Luke said in 39, he said, and one of the malefactors which were hanged 
railed on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man have done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into the kingdom. Jesus said, Verily, and said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, This day shall shall be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour. There was darkness over the whole earth in the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in mist. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice and said, Fall into thy hands, I commend my spirit. And having thus said this, he gave up the ghost. How many know that it's not over yet? I'm so grateful unto the Lord that it wasn't over, that his work was not done. Even though he had said and he had a job to do, he had come down on the earth, he had done all that he had done and everything that he was doing. And somebody said, he said, it's finished. And he said, I came to save that which was lost. And he not only did he come to save that which was lost, but he also came to heal and to deliver. And I'm so glad that even though somebody said this was one of the seven last words and last phrases of Christ, this wasn't all that he had to say. Thank God that he had stopped dying and saved the man that was on the cross. He said, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. And I was thinking as I was reading that, I said, somebody might think that this, all of his work was over. All of his work was not finished. On the earth it might have been, but he still had work to do in heaven. And thank God for him going up to the kingdom, going up to heaven, and still doing his job. I'm so grateful unto the Lord because if it had been finished, I wouldn't be saved today. If it had been finished, I wouldn't have been healed today. But I'm so grateful unto the Lord that even though he had done all of that, somebody said, I got one more thing to do. One more thing that he had to take care of. One more thing. I said, Lord, thank you. I felt like the man on the cross. I felt like on the other side of him. And I said, Lord, thank you. Thank you for dying. Because if he had not been for the shedding of the blood, it would be no remission for our sins. But he said, I got one more thing to do. I might be hanging here. I might be on this cross, but it's not all us. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for dying. Thank you for sparing your blood, for shedding your blood. Thank you for going to the cross, but you got one more thing to do. I feel like that man on the cross. I say, don't stop now. You've been blessing me. You've been healing. You've been delivering. But my son's not saved. I got one more thing I need you. Lord Jesus, don't stop now. I got one more thing. One more request for you. Don't give up now. Because I need, I need my children delivered. I need, I felt like the man on the cross. He said, we here, we deserve what's going to happen to us. But don't die now. He said, this night, this day, I remember you. When I get to the kingdom, woo, I was praising God. Because somebody said it's finished, it's over. He gave up the ghost, gave up the natural body, but he went on to the cross and he died for our sins. And I said, Lord, thank you for dying. Before Passover, before we can get there, somebody said, Lord, I need you to do something for me. What is your request? What do you have for him to do? He's right there waiting. He's right there in preparation. But he wants to, to hear what you need him to do. What do you want? 
got to do for you. Make your request known. Make your request known. I said, Lord, this is the season for you to answer our prayers. This is the season for you to hear our prayer. Is there anybody here that's got something that you want the Lord to do for you? Is there anything you have for Jesus to hear your request? Somebody say yes. Say yes. Yeah, yeah. It's not over. Don't give up now. Don't give in now. Somebody say it's not over. He's still saving. He's still healing. He's still delivering. Somebody that lost hope. You feel like it's all over. You up on the cross. You about to give up. You think it's over. But don't stop praying. Don't stop believing. Don't stop giving up. Somebody say he still can hear your request at the ninth hour, at the tenth hour, at the twelfth hour. Somebody say it seems like there's no hope. But somebody say there's still, there's still hope for you. There's still healing for you. There's still deliverance for you. Somebody say, don't give up. Don't give up. Jesus is healing. Jesus is healing. Jesus is delivering. Say yes. Say yes. Woo. Have you ever been in a situation? Have you ever been in a situation and you'd have been up and you've been down? You've been in and out. You're going through like you've never gone through before. And you feel like you on the cross. You feel like giving over. You feel like giving up. But somebody say, don't give up. Don't give up. Your help, your healing, your deliverance is on its way. Somebody say yes. You didn't gave up on that child. You didn't gave up on that daughter. You didn't gave up on that husband. Ain't no hope. Ain't no help. Ain't no hope. I'm tired. Every time I look up, he's drunk. Every time I give up, he's sick. He's outdoors with another woman. Somebody say, every time I feel like God, you done healed me. God, you delivered me. You did it before. Lord, I'm tired of going through the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. But somebody say, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Lift your hands and say, Father, I stretch in my hand. Say this night, Father, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Je How much faith did he have? He was on the cross. Jesus was on the cross with him. But he had enough faith in his state, in his condition, to not understand that I... Somebody, first of all, you got to forgive yourself. And you got to admit that you've done the stuff that you did to get in the situation. He had to acknowledge. Come on, come on, help me now. He had to acknowledge. See, first of all, we want to think the other one did something. But somebody say, acknowledge what you have done. Acknowledge. I'm telling you right now, Jesus would not have stopped and told him this day, I remember you when I entered into the kingdom. Had he said, you know, I ain't did nothing. How many people in jail, you know, ain't never did nothing, will never admit that they did anything wrong. See, first of all, you're not going to get no help until you learn how to say, I did it. Come on, somebody say, I did it. I did it. I'm in this place because I sinned. 
I'm in this place because I did wrong. I'm in this condition because I know I was a fornicator. I was a adulterator. But Jesus had to hear you say, I did. When he heard us say, I did. It wasn't until he said, oh, I did it. I know I should be here. I know I deserve what's coming to me. But today, I'm reaching out to you. I'm calling on you, Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. I did it. Flip your voice and say, I did it. I did it. I did it. Woo! Come on, admit it and say, I did it. I did it. But today, Jesus. Come on, call on them and say, Jesus, I did it. See, we want to blame everybody else. We want to blame him. We want to blame her. But what did you do? The man realized. He said, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I should be here. Anybody know that where you are, you should be there in your condition, in your sickness, in your trouble. Come on, you're not gonna get deliverance. You're not gonna get no help and say, I did it. I did it. And say, Lord, I know I did it, but I'm reaching. Somebody say, I'm reaching out to you, asking you for forgiveness, asking you for mercy, Asking you for your grace. Somebody say thank you for your goodness and your mercy toward us. We all fight. Come on, lift your hands up. If you want to be free, if you want to deliver us, if you want to get out, somebody say for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, I did it. I did it. Come on, don't, don't act like you ain't did nothing. I did it. I said it. Because how many know the Lord don't like you touching the anointed? Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Somebody say, I did it. The judgment that's coming upon you is warranted. It's because you did it. The man realized that I did it. Come on, I feel like shouting now. Somebody say, I did it. I didn't acknowledge it before I got married. I didn't acknowledge it before I bought that car. I didn't acknowledge it before I bought that home. Lift your voice and say, I did it. I didn't pray to you. Before I did this, uh, before I did that. Uh, come on, come on, help me up in here. I feel deliverance uh, in the house of the Lord. He admitted, uh, he said, Lord, I deserve this. Sometimes we know that we deserve worse than the condition that we're in. But if we lift our hands, I dare you to just lift your hand. Come on, come on, lift him. Come on, I want to be free. I don't know about you. Lift those hands and say, because ah, we're praying for something. How many want the Lord to do something? How many want the Lord's deliverance? How many want the Lord's healing over our life? Say, ah, I admit it. I did it. But today, I need your mercy. Somebody say, I need your mercy, your mercy, Lord, 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 I did it, I did it, but today I need your mercy. How many know the Lord is goodness and his mercy? Somebody say he's merciful to us. He's good to us. He hears your prayer. He hears your call. Say, oh. 
I haven't been holy all my life. I haven't been like this uh, all of my life. I feel like praising them. Because sometimes uh, some of us are suffering for stuff we did in the past. Uh, yet we still haven't asked God to forgive us. Uh, somebody say, Lord. Come on, somebody say he'll bring it back uh, to your remembrance. Uh, those things uh, that you said and those things uh, that you've done. Uh, that's the reason. That's the reason why you're on the cross. That's the reason that you're suffering. But lift your voice. Come on, somebody, lift your voice. Lift your voice and scream. I did it. But Lord, 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 have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. How many know that Jesus will have mercy on you? He hears your prayer. He hears your call. He hears you when you call. Come on, clear the line. Somebody say, clear the line. Mama used to say, clear the line. And say, Lord. How many want to get out of your condition? I feel a blessing in this room. I feel a healing in this room. Come on, I need somebody. Come on, lift your voice and say, Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. Come on, lift those hands, lift them and say, Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, have mercy. I admit it. I admit it. Woo! He said, you're going to have to go to the hospital. I said, devil, you a lie. Tell me, Lord, what I need to do. Somebody say, tell me, Lord, what I need to do to get rid of this blood pressure. Tell me what I need to do to get rid of this diabetes. Tell me, Lord, what I need to do to get rid of this heart trouble. Lift your hands and say, ah. I admit it. I did it. Woo! Woo! Come on, lift them. Wherever you are, lift those hands and say, Lord. Mama, mama, mama. Come on, he said, I would that you be in good health, in health, and prosper. Even as your soul prospers in your home, you prosper in your job, you prosper in your body. Blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in your going out. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I admit it. He said, I can't leave yet. I can't leave yet. Somebody's calling on me, Lord. I admit it. I feel a blessing in here. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I feel a blessing in here. I feel a deliverance in here. How many want your deliverance on this day? This day. I heard Jesus say, this day. This day. Somebody say, Lord, this day. I want my healing. How many want your healing? Come on, I got some folk in here that's taking medication. Come on, lift your hands and say, this day. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift him and say, Lord, 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 come on, lift him and say it like you mean it. Lord, Lord, Woo! How many want to take your sickness away? Lift those hands and say, Lord, I admit it. I did it. Give me, give me. Jesus is this day. How many want your blessing today? How many want it today? This day. Come on, if you want it today, move out of your seat and just walk around and say, oh, I did. 
I did some wrong. I said some wrong. I acted in ways that I shouldn't have acted. I shouldn't act be in this condition that I'm in. But Lord, I deserve it. I deserve whatever punishment that should come upon me. But today, Lord, come on, reach out to the Lord. Say, Lord, woo, woo, Lord, 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 Lord. I admit it. Come on, I feel a praise. I admit it. Whatever, whatever is on me now, I did it. I heard teacher my happy say, she said, I knew if I had known that I had one kidney, I wouldn't have drank uh, all that Pepsi, all that pop, kept drinking it, lost both my kidneys. Somebody said, Lord, I admit it, I did it. But today, today, this day, This day, God's giving you another chance. This day, God's giving you a chance. Somebody say thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your grace. How many grateful for the grace and the mercy of God? Because it said it's his grace and it's his mercy that we're not consumed. I'm going to put something on you, but I'm not going to take you. I'm going to put something on you, but I won't take you. But he said, if my people, which are called, y'all going to make me preach. Find my name, but humble themselves. Seek my face, turn. From your wicked ways. Somebody say, Lord, don't pass me by. Feel like blind Barnabas. Say, don't pass me. Jesus, let me hear you say, Jesus. Come on, say, Jesus. Say it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, oh. oh. See, the devil still got us doing some secret stuff. We think Jesus don't see. We think the Lord don't see about it. Come on, you still doing some secret stuff. Come on now. We still doing some stuff. When you leave, leave, leave the church. But after you leave the church, don't leave because you haven't left God. God is still seeing you. Come on. You holding. Tell somebody you holding. Come on, I feel this now. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't hold up your blessing. Don't hold up your deliverance. Because you got some deliverance. But how many want to complete? Complete. Because some of us got just enough to jump and shout on the Sabbath day. That's all we got. But Sunday, somebody say Sunday. I feel my help up in here. Somebody say help me, Lord. You still in that condition. You still in that condition. Because you haven't surrendered everything. You still doing some stuff. You still saying some stuff. Come on, you need to plead the blood on yourself. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Come on, I need you to bind every spirit and the power. Somebody say, I ain't been with that man in three weeks. And then all of a sudden you call him. Hey man, what you doing? You ain't been with him for three weeks. Don't, don't go back to Egypt. What do you say? Don't, shall we be entangled again? Keep getting.
getting entangled. Keep calling them numbers. Keep watching that stuff. Woo, come on, help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody say, the devil, you're a liar. Supposed to be in a fast and a denial, and you sneak in a pinch of sugar, sneak in a pinch of candy. Just a pinch, it's just a pinch. I don't want my sugar to go down. Ain't nothing wrong with your sugar. Come on, tell that devil you're a liar. Lift your voice and say, Lord. Come on, whatever you done before today, lift your hands and say, Lord, I did it. Whatever you said, just say it, Lord, I said it. But today, come on, you better mean it from your heart. Mean it from your heart. Jesus is not going to stop doing what he's doing to answer your prayer until you mean it from your heart. Woo! Woo! I told the devil, I'm going to be on a chicken tonight. I'm not going to eat no chicken. And they come bringing me a plate of chicken. Somebody's going away. We got a party. We got a little party going on. They bring, I didn't even go down to the party because I knew temptation was going to be there. <laughs> Mr. Butler, we heard you had meetings today. And you was going to be in your office. You had all those Zoom meetings and Google meets. I wasn't even going downstairs. They come up with a big old breast of chicken. Did you want any cake? I said, keep the cake. Y'all keep the cake. They came up with my, my drink. I said, no, 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 not today. The devil, I had that chicken sitting on the plate. I oh, the blood of Jesus. It must have sat on my desk for about an hour. I pled the blood. I said, Lord, the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. It was nice and succulent. Big old fat piece of big old breast. I'm talking about a big piece. Crispy. I just kept looking at that chicken. I said, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. No, 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 no. You even got a you even got an unction. No, 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 no. Shut Come on, somebody. You better walk away from that stuff. If you promised the Lord, I had to grab that plate, grab that chicken, and throw it in the garbage. And you know what the devil said, wakes not, want not. I said, devil, you are right. I had to leave right past the garbage can before I left my office. But somebody say, I got power. Come on, lift your voice and say, give me power over my temptation. Give me power over my issues. Come on, somebody say, Lord, I need power. How many need power? You can't resist the enemy. Can't resist the devil. But I threw that chicken in the garbage and I start shouting. I said, oh, great, where's your victory? Oh, death, y'all better know how to praise him. Victory, lift your voice and say, victory. How many got victory this week over your denial, over your sacrifice? Lift your hand and say, victory. Lift your voice and say, victory! But if, if you didn't get your victory this week, you can get your deliverance.